Shalom. Our praise is glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Bashem Raka Kodash and double honor to the apostles and to the elders of Great Midstone Peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. I am my brother Mark Collard from the Great Midstone Jamaica camp with a lesson here to feed the potential electric through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And um, you know, I was just meditating in the spirit, you know, I just want to you know, speak about the days ahead, you know, which we know at the time of Jacob's trouble is, is speedily approaching um, you know us which it's possible to see 2020 shit really hit the fan to how much we are in prophecies man and we know that one of the major prophecies that we're waiting on is the prophecy of the of that thing inserted you know uh, Revelation 13 verse 16 See, oh, and by the way, this is a moving in the spirit. I'm just flowing off the top of, of my head, you know. I'm just meditating. And, you know, one of, the, one of the thing is, you know, what mindset we're supposed to be in at this very moment, you know. What spirit are we supposed to be in? Seeing that these things are happening, are about to come to pass. Because uh, the devil, Esau, Edom, they're in their right mindset. Which is to bring forth, you know, chaos in the society. Which rightly so, because they are the man of sin, you know, they are, they, they are the man of perdition. They are in the right spirit to bring forth hell upon the society. And remember, it is written that this man had sworn that when his father Israel died, uh, no, when his father, um, right. yes, right, my bad, when his father Isaac died. Yeah, he's gonna slew his brother Jacob. Which remember, um, Jacob's name changed to to be called um, Israel, which means he's the prince of God. Uh, he's the son of God. You know, he wrote ban son. Um, son mean um is from the Hebrew word ban, which a, a, a son of a king is a prince. So in other words, he, had, he is the prince of Yahweh. You know. The Israelites, so-called Latinos, Native American Indians, so-called niggers. But these men, you know, had made a covenant, you know, with themselves that look, they are gonna destroy our um the seed of of, of the woman, you know, the seed of Israel. And you can clearly see that they they, they they have been doing it through the media, you know, setting up what you call it, celebrities among our people. And um to paint certain picture that this is the way, this is the life. In, in, in reality, what they paint to be the standard among our people is death. That's what they really paint to be the standard among our people, death. And a whole lot of people fall for it because they know nothing better, saving the elect, you know. And not to mention the food that we are now eating, genetically modified food, which word modify means to change. So they change the pattern of, of, of the food that we eat. Whether it want to be, you know, the, 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 the flesh of, of animals or, you know, greens. Because remember, they have um, computer, computers growing vegetables, man. Because even though the, the, the Kalaloo that I'm seeing on the market here, that people planting and getting, doesn't look like original Kalaloo. It's different. The leaves, is so different so so different and the thing is if you if you're supposed to cut the original color to give the majority of people out here now they won't they, won't, they don't want it because it doesn't it doesn't look that lush to them you know as as the one that they're getting that's genetically modified and and um the reason why it, it doesn't look that lush is because the earth the earth is you know is in, in um it's in stress in growing um these crops man so they won't come looking all good and full like before. Why? Because you have the devil that's ruling this society, man. You understand? And now is the time when he's gonna be brought down because he's gonna make another move. And as a second move he's about to make upon the children of Israel, man. And this time he's gonna come in hard, man. He's gonna come so hard to the point where you know, the Lord 
has to bring forth divine intervention to save his people. You know? Because remember, it is the Lord who raised up this man to be a, a, a power in the earth, a major power in the earth. Furthermore, the greatest empire, you know, when it comes to strength, military strength that the world has ever seen. Using the base, NATO and the European Union. And we know that the, the, the harlot that sit up, sat up on the base is what? Babylon the Great, spiritually known as Saddam and Egypt, which is America today. So, so you can see where the scriptures um, properly lined up with, with, with each other. So this is Daniel chapter uh, one, um, 12 verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Micah stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never. Right? Right, it says, such as never, um, such as never was since there was a nation, right? Pardon me, I'm driving, Salakia. Even to that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. So the time of Jacob's trouble is upon us, and, and as it said, here in the text that 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 time the last people shall be delivered what time the time of Jacob's oh Salakia yeah, man pardon me for that he says any time of Jacob's trouble I'm tired man you know I'm trying to get home to get some rest but you know I just meditate in the spirit you know at that time that people shall be delivered man you know to the spirit and power of your Abba shall we pray that we are we are we are we're gonna be delivered and you see these men they have a whole lot of things in their arsenal ready to, to bring upon the people remember remember that technology I forgot what they call it but they call it microwave technology to also where they point this weapon on, on, on people and they and they feel like the inside is cooking so this man this man when the scripture said he was gonna be blessed with the sword this man really have some shit and he's gonna come out in the last days here and he's gonna use them. Why? As a matter of fact, let's, let's get uh, Revelation 12 verse 12. Revelation chapter 12 verse 12, man. Be with me, Salaki, I'm driving, yeah? Uh, Revelation chapter 12 verse... Oh, I, I'm, I'm a Daniel. Oh, Salaki, Salaki. Alright, then Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, and it reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and he that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the heart and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you of in great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. So he's got this man is gonna come with, with all his weaponry, you know. Remember, they buy they have bought um, billions of alapine bullets. To use and on, on, on you people in America, chiefly you Israelites, man, and even all of the devils, all of you are gonna be caught up in it as well. You know, a whole lot of you Edomites, man, gonna be caught up in it as well. See, because whatever the Father is bringing in this world is total confusion and anarchy, man. Chaos is gonna come to the society. You know, bloodshed, as the Pastor said years ago, death is gonna have its final hurrah. The Heavenly Father is gonna send forth the spirit of death, and it's gonna sweep throughout this earth, man, to eradicate all um, the evil of the earth. Well, not, let me not say the evil, because evil is necessary. The wicked, you know, because people forget about who the power of heaven is. See, right now. You know, they're saying that there's um, a pandemic out there. And, you know, the, 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 the way out that they're painting the picture to, to the people is not even the father and his son. It's, it's their science, man. It's, it's, this, this is the new God that they want people um, to worship, their science. So, why is it that people can't turn to the strongholds of the Lord? And then you have some phony ass preachers coming out and saying, even men among Israel, you know, advocating for people to, to be jabbed up. But, you know, all these things are necessary for these prophecies to fulfill. Because 
these agents of Satan, they have to do their bidding for Satan to come forth with his wrath. Because he, as in scripture say, he know that he has but a what? A short time. And this short time, really, remember it is written in Revelation 20, the devil is going to be loose a little season. That little season is up. It's being up right now. So we're definitely in the last days of the last days. And we can see these prophecies um, occurring right now, showing that this man's time is almost up. He himself knows that his time is being up. So we are looking to see another um, false flag or something like that for him to basically come out with, with his agenda to say that, look, we need to do this because, you know, whether, whether it's a terrorist attack or something like that, you know. These men are terrorists or, you know, some, you know, you know the devil work, man. In some way, shape or form, he's going to do something to get people, you know, whether to be scared and bow to him and the image of the beast or to, 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 to massacre the ones that won't bow to the image of the beast. But he knows that this is the time where he, have, he, have, he has to do what he has to do. And he's going to do it. He's going to do it to the, to the best of his ability. And, and, and another question is, what will you do when he's going to be doing it, man? Will you trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and believe that he'll protect you? You know, being an Israelite? Or are you going to turn to, um, to, to, to the powers that be? You know, for mercy, or you're gonna depend on your weapon. You know, but definitely this man is about to come at our people. And when he comes, man, as it is written in all the scripture, the, the, the spirit of the law is gonna set up a standard against him. Because we we we're, we're yearning, we're begging for that spiritual power. Because you see, if the Lord bless us with that spiritual power, oh my gosh, man. We're gonna, we're gonna put, we're gonna pull you devils apart like Mr. Manhattan. Yeah, like how Mr. Manhattan pull the tank apart. We're gonna pull you devils apart. Trust me. We're gonna do a whole lot of things with that, with that power, man. All in the name of Yahweh Bashami Oshai. And with that, I wanna say shalom. All praise is glory and honesty. Yahweh Bashami Oshai. You know the memory is, is, is about to run out, so let me just close it off here. Hope that this lesson has been an edifying one.